Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this guide on how you can get the Wish Ender Exotic Bowl. And no, it has nothing to do with the raid. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can buy hitting that like button it really does help out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so this whole quest starts with the secret mission found in the confluence area on the dreaming city the mission is called the shattered throne on screen now you are seeing the route i take to get here as it's through a teleporter but i know there are numerous ways of getting through this teleporter or getting through to the confluence room or confluence area through numerous teleporters on the dreaming city but this is the route to the one i take now while you see the route i take i will state this in my opinion requires a full team it's hard it takes teamwork and it can be a right pain in the ass for damn sure but stick to it follow this guide and you'll get this beast of an exotic bulb Okay, so once you've gotten into the confluence, follow the path I take and you will eventually end up here. Pull up your ghost and you will see there is a mission called the Shattered Throne. Start this up. Once it's started up, if this room is new to you guys, I suggest you take a look around as this is a massive area and home to individual rooms which are key in progressing past this point. Each room is represented by a picture. This is important. Because as you initially enter this area, you will kill a few ads and you will see the first of an important image. This image represents the room you will have to go and find. So have a look around. If you see ads, it's probably the room you have to go to. So locate the room which is represented by the first image you saw entering this area. Kill all the ads and a yellow bar boss. And another image will appear within this room. That's the next room you have to locate. This goes on for about 5 or 6 rotations, it could be less, it just felt as long as heck. But you will eventually get it done, I mean you will spend a quite a lot of time in this area, I'd probably say up to about 30 minutes if you do not know your way around, so just get to know the area, get to know your rooms, and this will eventually be like butter and bread. So once you've done all of this, your path will open to progress. Then it's just a matter of progressing down and following the one way path, killing all ads in your way. You will eventually come to this room right here, within it, plenty of snipers and high power enemies which destroy you using a scout rifle or a sniper pick the enemies off left and right peeking in making sure you don't miss any 
once you've taken out the initial snipers, enter the room and just make your way through it, taking out enemies at a far. Pretty easy to be honest. You will eventually come to this room right here, where you again have to take out enemies at a far. As this one can be a little crazy as you are walking along these thin paths which you can easily fall off. Once you enter this room, you need to make your way left taking out all the ogres as they spawn and you will eventually get out of this room. It's, to be honest, this ain't too bad. Just mind the gaps in these small paths. Cause I fell off a few times here. Follow the one way path and the next room you will encounter is relatively straightforward. Only problem here is though you are slowed and can't double jump. You are also bombarded by take and throw. So here you just need to run and jump and keep doing that. And you will eventually just get out of this area. It's pretty easy, not gonna lie. So once you are out of this room, just follow the path again and you will then eventually come to the first of two boss encounters within this hidden mission. But we don't have to worry about that second boss, not in getting this exotic anyway, and I'll explain further on in the video. So this room beholds a giant ogre, which will be shielded as you will see. You can also see the four pads surrounding him lighted up. Once you enter this encounter, wizards will spawn in, four in total. One at the front of the room, one at the back, one at the left and one at the right. You have to kill the wizards. In doing this, they drop buffs upon dying. The buff is called the Petitioner's Mark. Now this is kind of hard, I won't lie. You have to get Petitioner's Mark times 4, and you do this by killing all 4 wizards. Once Petitioner's Mark times 4 is acquired, you have to slam it into one of the light up pads you see. Once a pad has been used, you can't use it again, so you have 4 stages to do damage and killing the ogre. Another thing, if you kill a wizard and get the Petitioner's Mark buff, kill another wizard, get the buff again, Obviously you get petitions marked times 2, kill enough 4 get times 4, but if you die you lose the buff, meaning one of your teammates can't die while you're killing the wizards. Only one person has to grab the buff for it to be applied to all of your teammates. Now the safest way of doing this is by taking all the wizards down to a one hit, basically leaving them really low health, and then taking them all out in a single rotation. Because if you kill them one by one, once a buff is grabbed, you then only have 45 seconds to kill another wizard, or you wipe. So taking them down to low health, then just rotating and killing them easy makes more sense. Once a times 4 petition of mark is required, one person in your fire team has to slam it into one of the light pads. Then do damage guys. If you are using sleepers and have heavy ammo, it shouldn't take you no more than 2 damage phases at most. So once you have defeated this ogre, here's where things get a little interesting. Outside this room, the way you progress, there is a statue which you have to talk to by holding X or square. This adds a secret mission to the Tangled Shore. It's located within the Four Horn Gulch. The mission doesn't show up on your map and you can only see it when you travel there. Now this mission again is pretty straightforward. Before doing it though, I would recommend you definitely make space in your pursuits tab, at least for three things as that's what you will be rewarded at the end of this mission which is super important in getting the wish and the bow. So run through this mission as you normally would, just class it as a strike, it's nothing more than that. Once you get to the final room, three bosses will spawn, kill them all, as you normally would. Be careful though, many add spawn in too, but there are many good hiding spots and cover spots within this final encounter, so it shouldn't be too hard for you. Just kill the bosses using supers, using teamwork and so forth. You guys know how this shit works. So once all three bosses have been killed, you will be rewarded three tokens which will pop up on your screen. These tokens are super important and they go into your pursuits tab. Hence why I said make sure you have space before entering this mission. So these tokens you have to charge and to charge them you have to go back into the Shadow Throne mission on the Dreaming City within the Confluence. So you're in your fire team but if you load back up this mission, you will be at a checkpoint of where you just left off, which will be just before the final encounter. You need to restart the mission as it's the only way of charging these tokens. So to do this, I suggest you load up this mission on a character that hasn't started it yet. So switch to a character which hasn't entered this mission. Go to the Dreaming City, go to the Confluence area and start this mission. Once in the mission, invite your fire team back in. Then make one of your fire team members host and switch to your main character and rejoin them. Simple, you are now at the start of this mission. This now though takes more teamwork than ever. Now to charge these tokens you have to find relics and insert them into various statues, in turn spawning bosses, killing these bosses charges these tokens, charge all three tokens and bam you are rewarded the exotic bolt. So the first relic you will find within the first area of the Shadow Throne mission, the relic and where it needs to be taken can be seen on screen now, so you need to locate this room with this bird image. 
and follow the route I take. Apologies about it looking like we didn't know where we were going, we actually didn't. We just remembered experimenting the first time we entered this place and kind of remembering where relics were. So the relic is located and taken to where you see on screen now. Once you have placed a relic, two taken monitors will spawn in, kill them both and your first token will be charged people. The second relic we ain't certain makes a difference to this quest, but we used it anyway just in case. I suggest you guys do the same, it's located within the room with the small platforms and the augers. As soon as you enter this room, on your right behind the pillar is the relic. It needs to be inserted at the far end of the room, I suggest you take out the augers and adds before trying to insert it. Where it's at and where it needs to be taken to can be seen on screen now. Guardian down. The next relic is found as soon as you enter the slow room, on your right you will find it. This relic needs to be taken all the way through the slow room until you leave it by jumping down. Again just keep running and jumping through this, following the straightforward path, jump out of the slow room and the statue it needs to be taken to is found on your right. Now I know what you are thinking, well what about these bosses? While well, they don't spawn here, as you progress further you'd normally make your way to the old room counter with the four light up pads, but before you get there. As seen on screen now, a door has opened. This door you enter and go to the center of it. Ads will spawn in, kill them and eventually the boss spawns in. Kill him and your second token will be charged people. Now this is what I mean, were both relics needed to spawn this boss? I ain't sure on that but like I said, I'd use them anyway. It's not difficult at all so you may as well do it. So the last relic you need to use and the boss you need to spawn to kill is by far the hardest and it's within the augury encounter with those light up pads. So to get the relic to spawn you have to do a set of taking at the wizards and slamming a times 4 petitioner's mark. Once you do this an enemy will spawn at the very back of the room which you have to kill. This can be difficult as it's at the same time you have to do damage to the ogre. 
So I suggest one person shoots the bus and lands damage, another one shoots the trucking balls he fires, and a third takes down this enemy which spawns, which has to be killed, so the relic spawns. So when this new enemy has been killed and the relic spawned, the relic needs to be taken to the left hand side of the room and inserted into the statue like the others, left hand side of the room from entry point by the way. Once this has been done, a message will pop up saying fleeting shadow approaches. This spawns another ogre at the front of the room, near where you enter. You will have to kill this ogre, once you do, your third token will be charged, simple. Now once this ogre has been killed and your third token charged, just finish the encounter as normal. Even if you die, it doesn't matter as your token is charged, so just run it as normal, not worrying about relics or anything else. Once you finish the encounter, people head to that statue again and guys, you are rewarded the wish and that exotic bow. Wow, it was damn hard work, but it's so beautiful, people, it's definitely worth it. And guys, this is how you get the exotic Wish Ender bow. Damn, oh, damn, what a crazy quest. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave them a like, it really helps me out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, ones like guides, top fives, gameplays, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, turn on notifications by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the